Now we're going to take a look at uh, inducer assembly, uh, diagnosis and replacement. Uh, usually the first uh, indication you'll have that there is a problem with the inducer assembly is uh, the diagnostic light on your furnace will be flashing a code and the code will correspond to normally it'll say uh, pressure switch open uh, that just uh, let you know that the inducer itself is not working. Uh, we're going to look at a uh, high efficiency gas furnace. Uh, when you start to uh, remove this is an upload furnace, move the upper access panel and right here is your inducer assembly. Uh, this is a high efficiency furnace so you'll notice that the housing of the uh, inducer assembly is plastic normally and it's connected to a plastic uh, PVC pipe for the outlet. Uh, if you uh, suspect that there is a problem and you know that uh, check your diagnostic light and it's flashing the pressure switch problem if the inducer assem motor here is not running first of all feel it. Uh, if there's a problem with the motor itself normally the motor is going to be pretty hot and then what you want to do is to uh, most of them will have a plug connection connecting the motor to the control board you just simply disconnect the plug and you'll have two pins on it and uh, you want to take a voltage reading uh, most of these inducers run on uh, 120 volt AC simply a matter of uh, putting one lead inside each pin and check your voltage you should have 120 volt supplied to it if you do have 120 volts to the supply and the uh, motor is not running uh, and it's hot that's a good indication that the motor itself is bad and if it is it's uh, pretty simple to uh, replace uh, you want to start by shutting off the power to the furnace and then disconnect the plug and normally on the side of your inducer assembly there will be a little high temperature cutout. You want to disconnect the wires for it and uh, disconnect the coupling to the exhaust pipe of the furnace and uh, there's a couple of hoses connected to it to, there will be a hose, a small plastic hose running usually from the upper part of the inducer housing to a pressure switch. This is actually a differential pressure switch and that uh, tells the furnace that uh, that the uh, inducer motor itself is actually running. In this case it's not. But it's a simple matter of disconnecting that hose. Normally on a high efficiency unit there will also be a, a drain hose at the bottom of the inducer assembly. And it's just a simple matter of uh, removing a hose clamp and uh, disconnecting the hose. Then there's usually four or five uh, mounting bolts for the inducer assembly itself. Simply a matter of taking them out. And then once you have the mounting bolts, it's simply a matter of uh, sliding the assembly out. After you've got uh, all the hoses and all the mounting screws out, it's simply a matter of pulling it out. Uh, most of the inducer motors will also have a green ground wire, and that's just a wire that goes, normally goes to the just any spot on the furnace. For a so you remove that. It is possible to just replace the motor itself. But it's really, it's really difficult because you have to get inside and do some stuff. But uh, it can be done. And then it's just simple of matching the motor characteristics. But if you want to replace the whole assembly, it's usually easier. Uh, like I said before, this is a high efficiency one. On a 
lower efficiency furnace that will be a metal it'll usually all be a metal thing and uh, the main difference is then is you take some sheet metal screws out of the connection to the to the gas pipe uh, one thing else you want to notice is that uh, the coupling from the inducer assembly to the uh, exhaust pipe uh, most of them have in it what's called a rain gutter uh, what that does is if water gets in the pipe it uh, channels it to the to the drain on the furnace but uh, they usually have an airflow arrow on them so you want to make sure that that uh, when you put it back in you use the use the put it in the right direction also normally the uh, the temperature limit does not come with a new inducer assembly uh, as far as uh, replacing it it's just a simple matter of getting the proper uh, replacement and uh, it's simply a matter of reducing the steps that you use to uh, take it out they're all put back together uh, it's just a simple matter of uh, turn the power back on to the furnace and run it through a normal heating cycle and uh, should be all set